<laughs> Story number seven. What role will women play in the next election? Story number seven. Very important. Women have stepped up their game over the years. They've put a fight in a lot of things. Some people say that they need to just be basic, but a lot of women are active now. They're active in motherhood. Some of them have to play two roles, be mothers and fathers. And uh, it's amazing how they are engaging in this new environment. Uh, some stories that surface in. A woman shoots two Israelis dead in a Chinese restaurant in Mexico City. So women are now picking up handguns. When it comes to abortion, this story also surfaced in. Catholic politicians, they're talking about when it comes to women's issues like abortion. Some people are saying that these politicians are doing more harm than good. That's the question. Should people be getting involved with women's choices? Scary, but women make a lot of choices. Some of them make bad choices. Some of them have to... Some of them live with the consequences. Some of them want to undo things. So uh, story number seven, that's why I said the top seven because women are influencing policy and a lot of men are starting to put their voice in the fight because they feel like they're being left behind. So uh, there's another story that surfaced in that relates to the other story, uh, one of the stories that made it to Salvate. Alyssa Milano calls out pro-life narrative after G DOJ approves execution of actual actual people so people are trying to justify that the fact that people can be uh given the executed for doing a harsh crime they're trying to compare that to abortion i don't think that really has anything to do with abortion but as you can see Alyssa milano thinks that these two have some type of relationship very scary topic republican uh danielle stella I guess she's aim she was aiming to unseat Ilion Omar, women, but she was charged with a felony to stop her from unseating the Democrat. Women are getting in a lot of headlines and they're influencing policy and they're really changing the horizon, the view on the horizon. So see how this turns out. Nelly Adding is a photojournalist who is leading the way to make sure that victims of war are not left out. She is doing this by taking pictures. I believe she's in uh, Africa. I think, I think it's Nigeria where she's uh, is a part of Africa. If it's not Nigeria, please forgive me. Uh, but she is taking photos of people affected by war to heighten people's awareness on what happens in war and how it, it's not good. So she's using pictures as a way, almost like a ministry, to show people that uh, these, this type of, of, of atmosphere, what goes on in war, needs to be addressed. Women in South Korea increasingly rejecting marriage and motherhood. This is causing a decline in South Korea's workforce and birth rates. So when women choose not to engage in sex and not to, uh, to reproduce or get married, they have a lot of power and... And they could decrease the population through their own womb. So, story number seven. <laughs> Interesting topic, how women are influencing policy and how they will impact the next election. They are able to vote and they're able to be active in policy. Another story that surfaced in. A Chinese woman who adopted 118 children. She was jailed in China for fraud. Scary, scary story. You have 118 children that you're responsible for, and you commit fraud in a uh, in a communist country. Well, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but women in this country in America influence a lot of public policy, public policy, and they have a lot of rights. But you see them on the front lines constantly when it comes to their own bodies, uh, their own marriages. So. I don't know how the future is going to end up, but let's hope for the best. Another story that surfaced in uh, when it comes to story number seven. Ilion Omar says that Americans are afraid of white more of uh, more afraid of white men rather than jihadist terrorists. Don't know how you can relate jihadist terrorists to white men, but some people just have a different way of thinking, different beliefs. I say if uh, if we could all get together and find a way to live amongst each other peacefully. 
we could get along, but some people seek power. Some people interpret the way people have gained territory very differently. Uh, you engage in war, you engage in battle, and it's become a hot topic in America with how this nation was founded, how other countries are, and some women have uh, different viewpoints. And uh, that's the greatest thing about a representative democracy is that everybody has a different view of how things, everybody can share their opinions. And uh, that's the good thing about being uh, having freedom and representing a free land. So your story number seven, uh, scary story, some scary stories in there, but these are women's topics and they will have a say in how the next election will play out. You're the media with me, Brian West, where I'm giving you the top eight headlines, developing news stories that made it every week, keeping you informed and uh, trying my best to find the stories that are most important and will affect you every week. So if you want to contribute in any way, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com, method 80.com where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something. If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or the stories that did make it in, you can visit the website. It's on our Twitter feed, and you can do your own research, maybe for your own program. If you want to uh, help out, all you have to do is it's very simple. Visit www.method8.com, the number eight, inc.com, method 80.com. You can buy something, click on something, watch something, or just read something. Or you can just sponsor a program, and that's how you help out. And uh, like I said, I am just a mediator. Uh, I want to thank, obviously, all the time of the journalists that put forth the effort to give the stories so I can give you the feedback and keep you informed on what stories are important and that are top top eight every week. So if you want to contribute, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, method com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, watch something. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here.